The centre set up in 1975 with the aim of informing and inspiring and enabling practical solutions for sustainable living and since then we've gone on to be a living laboratory for environmental technologies. We run short courses and everything from organic gardening and sustainable woodland management to photovoltaic installation. It attracts people from, from all sorts of uh, areas, other disciplines, so it's not just engineers. And because you're mixing with people from other courses, you're able to develop your own ideas. For me the most interesting part of the Wise Building is the lecture theatre, um, which is made out of rammed earth. And it's just great. And they've really they've d designed it in such a way that you're still in contact with the outside and you're still in contact with nature even though you're inside having a lecture. We have a range of master's courses and an architecture part two of their training, professional diploma, and a research and doctoral programme. And the courses are generally arranged as uh, residential modules. So like we're seeing the students around us, they come here for one intensive week a month and they have an intensive series of lectures and practical sessions and one-to-one -one tutorials and seminars and so on. If you're going to do a master's course, you tend to sort of go in and out of the university day in and day out, but here you actually come in for a week at a time and it could be either once a month or every couple of months and you stay in the campus and you actually work and do your work and you actually get to meet people and talk and discuss. And so it's a, it's a much better feel, it's more of a boot camp type of situation. We run courses here in photovoltaic installation, solar water heating, wind, biomass and hydro. So we cover most of the forms of renewable energy. I wanted a course that was going to be a lot more practical and hands-on. We use these practicals across a lot of our different teaching areas. So there are very few of these in the country and they're really, really important because they mean that people, when they come on the course and they're learning how to install photovoltaics or solar water heating, they're actually doing it in a real environment. They're learning what it's like to be on a roof. They're learning what it's like to actually get up there, work at heights, install the technology safely. Well, this week we're getting really muddy and dirty. We're looking at constructing using this renewable materials. That's what this course is about, actually. A lot of it is about having fun while you're learning. We're working with materials, so we're working with straw, timber, hemp, lime, earth. I knew what I didn't want from a part two, and I didn't want to be stuck in a lecture theatre. Lots of people go on, they have a career change, you know, they might be in a job that they haven't particularly enjoyed, or they fancy doing something different. They're also they're concerned about the environment, and they want, or they want to just get new skills. They come here, they do something, it changes their lives, it changes the direction that they're going in. This course, uh, at the end of it, there, you know, it, it, there are real jobs, so this, this course prepares you um, for the workplace. Now, if we're going to get to a zero carbon future, we've got a big skills gap. We need the engineers, the designers, the architects and the planners of the future. And that's what CAT's really about, is training people up in those skills that we need for a zero carbon future.